Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a palette bingo. A few weeks ago I chose these two small quartz as my two weeks one palette. And in that video I told you guys that I wanted to do a palette bingo instead of two weeks one palette. Because it just made more sense for me because over the past six months or so when I have done this two weeks one palette. I mostly just used the palette one or two times so it didn't really make sense. Um, to do this because I'm panning the eyeshadow on the side. I loved a palette bingo so why not just change it up to, for that and do that every once uh, once every week or two weeks or something like that. I chose or I got because I spin the wheel the NYX Full Throttle shorts and these are called Color Riot and Darning Damsel. I have used both on my eyes today and I randomized four shadows and then I have used two more to complete the look which is a brow bone highlight and an inner corner. If you are curious how to, I got this look uh, out of these two palettes, please keep on watching. I know it's really basic because it's a gold everyday smoky eye but I love those and that is my go-to. Yes, you can be creative with these but I wasn't <laughs> and I didn't feel like going all smoky today so this is what I got, this is what I'm working with, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video. And yes, until my next one, please take care. Bye. This can go wrong, and my hair is... Mm. Let me just... This is going to annoy me. Let's do it. Put a bingo on these two. This can go very wrong because it has light and dark colors in both of them. And I'm going to choose four shadows, so two from each palette. So I have one, two, four in this, and then we're going to do that four times, and then we will pick our shades. Let's start out with this one, and this is called Color Riot. Three. Oh, that's the orange one. Fine. And... Come on. Two. Okay, the orange and the brown. So, so two is the brown and three is the orange. I really like these shadows. They're really, really nice. Here they are. They're kind of satin-like, but I do treat them like mattes. So, that is what I'm going to do today as well. And then we have this one and that is called Darning Damsel. This one, so, two, that's the dark brown, that one right there. Please, it be the gold or something, I need a shimmer. Two. Oh, that was the same. Three, that's the gold. Gold, gold, can't speak. Number two is this dark brown, and number three is this gold. So this brown is a little bit more cool toned, but the gold is beautiful. I can work with this. I think this is going to be nice. It's storming and it's raining outside. It's definitely fall in Denmark. So let me jump into the shadows. I'm going to start out with the orange in my crease. I'm not really getting out of my comfort zone with this shade. I do that all the time when I use this. I just put down a primer and I did not set it. I never set my primers actually. I just prefer that. It sounds stupid but I think they blend better together and they just perform better. On a fluffy brush just in my crease to create this warm depth kind of. I love orange. After I dyed my hair, I have noticed that orange and warm shadows in general is popping more on my eyes. And I don't mind that. I love orange. So let's start up with this. I might go in with this light shade to highlight my brow bone and some inner corner and stuff like that. Um, because I only brought those. With me. I think I'm going with the warm brown in my outer corner so 
it is more cohesive. Maybe I can use this and maybe if I need some more depth, I can go in with the other one. I think that would be nice. So this is just going to be a gold eye look. And I pack this on this fluffy brush and then just swirl it all around in my outer corner. Very, very simple. Nothing fancy. Basically just like that. <laughs> oh, I'm so boring, but I just prefer this kind of makeup style on my eyes. I never really do... Felix, just get XP stand there. Felix is eating my brushes. It's a bad habit. I never really do halo um, and cut crease into stuff like that. If I do a cut crease, it's very soft. It doesn't have a hard, harsh line. Because I do use a cream shadow every day, but you can't really see that I have used a base, if that makes sense. I just prefer it that way. Going with the brush that I used in my crease. Blend it out. I didn't use new product though. I want to compliment my cat. <laughs> he is so well behaved lately when I film. He's not really teasing or ripping anything. He's very curious, but when he's getting older, he is getting more calm. And he is definitely more calm. He's still a troublemaker, but he's definitely more calm. And I can film without locking him out of the room and stuff like that so that's really nice so i don't feel guilty <laughs> let me go in with the gold on my eyelid i know creative word i just use my finger because i like shimmers with my finger more just because of it is its pigmentation and stuff like that when i picked them for my two weeks one palette some of you didn't know know these quads so i don't know if it is only in europe they are i can't imagine it's only europe because europe is so late on getting stuff here uh, when it's an outside brand yeah absolutely beautiful so if i didn't have so much eyeshadow in my collection i would definitely have bought them all and just have those they are amazing and they were beautiful colors and not only neutral, there were also uh, purple and blue and olive and they, they were beautiful. I don't think NYX is selling them anymore though. So this brush a little bit that I used in my outer corner and then I'm going in with that brown. And uh, then I will go get my base done and then I will be right back. So we can put it on my lower lash line as well. I got some makeup on. Yeah. Look how big he is. This is the one. Look at him. He's so big. So heavy. And it's shedding so bad. Let's do the lower lash line. I'm going in with the orange. Can you hear the rain? Oh god. And I need to go out in that storm. That is totally not fair. I have no idea how many palettes I have left to use um, this year to like have used all of them before my panda palette. I have no idea. Felix. Tech. Felix. So let me know how often you want me to do them. Dark brown. The cool tone one and that makes us done because then I have used all of the shadows. I like it. Taking a bigger fluffy brush. Going into that creamy, not beige, cream white shadow kind of. This is this is the satin, so I will go use that on my brow bone. Mm. 
that was a little bit more intense than I remembered. Okay, let's blend out some shadows down. <laughs> Definitely helped a little bit.